This is the Makita AF506 18 gauge brad nailer and we're going to take a look at it right now. Welcome to JB TV. Hey what's up guys it's your man JB and thanks for checking out this video and also welcome to my channel if you haven't checked out my channel before. And as I've said already we're going to be taking a look at this brad nailer, this Makita 18 gauge brad nailer. So having a quick look in the box, you've got the brad nailer itself, you've got a little pot of oil there and also your instruction manual. Now as you can probably tell already, it is a air brad nailer and in order to use this, I have got myself an air compressor and if you want to check that out, just uh, follow the link up there right now and uh, you can go check that out but make sure you do that after you've checked this video actually I'll put a video link for that video at the end of this video far too many videos anyway let's zoom in and take a closer look as you can see on the end here we've got the adapter for the hose and I've got the hose attached to my compressor right here I will leave a link to this particular hose because it does fit this brad nailer perfectly I made the mistake of getting the wrong one initially so uh, this one fits perfect so we'll plug this in in a short while when we give it a go got this handy little hook on here which you can put on your trousers on your belt when you're not using it for a moment which is quite good when I'm in the workshop I just sort of hang it up on a hook or a bit of rope or something so we've got the trigger here and that does feel different when you've got the air rushing into it so uh, yeah nice easy use there it's got a nice rubber handle and single finger um, depression here and it does fire really nicely as you can see just below the trigger right here this is the adjuster or the depth adjuster of the brads so it will sink the brad a little bit deeper or less deep depending on where you've actually set this whether you want it flush to go deeper or to be slightly proud you can adjust it just by turning this section on here so that's a really nice feature to open up the cartridge compartment all we're doing here is pushing this button at the end and that will slide open so it is sprung loaded depending on how many brads you've got in there if you've got a lot of brads you can fill the spring I bought this particular brad nailer because you can put the 15 mil brads in here these are only 35 mil brads that I've got here at the moment which I was using for a little project um, but it will take the 50 mil brads which will sit right up on here and within this cartridge section you've got all these different channels where your different size brads can sit and they don't actually fall out so you can put them in and just slide that shut quite nicely the other thing it has got on this part of the cartridge loader is this little red marker on here so as I close this up you'll notice the red marker disappears and that basically indicates when the brads are running out when it gets close to the end you'll see the red and you know it's time to reload so these will take 12 15 20 25 all the various sizes of brads up to 50 millimeters it does only use brads it doesn't use any of the thin staples the narrow long staples it is just a brad nailer if you do get any jams within the firing part of the nailer you can just open the front here like so and as you can see there the brads are pushing out but if I open that and just take those out for a moment you can see here that you get access to the compartment where the brads are fired so you can quite easily clear any jamming now I have used this quite a lot already I've probably fired a good few hundred brads out of this already in the short time that I've had it and I've had no issues there already so so far so good so we'll just lock that back up we'll put these few brads back in and really the last thing to look at is this end here so this brad nailer will not fire you cannot just go like this and 
shoot people with staples, not that that is a good idea, do not do that, do not do that. So it has this safety feature where this section needs to be pushed in before the brads will fire. Now the end of this is rubber or soft plastic, it feels quite soft and this obviously isn't going to mark your workpiece, particularly if it's uh, you know if it's quite delicate or you don't want any marks in it, so this isn't going to mark it at all. But as I say, you need to push that down before you can fire any brads out of it. Always read the instructions, always wear goggles, always wear ear defenders, and most importantly, don't use this up a ladder. And they're Makita's recommendations. Right, so the only thing left to do now is to connect this to the air presser and let's um, show you how it performs. The compressor has been on, it's full of air, so uh, I'm going to whack this on here. There we go. So as I've said already, even with the air on, you cannot fire this without this section being pushed in. Now I'm not going to push that in now because it is live and... Uh, I don't want to put a staple through my finger and believe me that would go through your finger. So we've got the 35 millimeter staples in there and as I've said already they are the 18 gauge and I'm currently using these tack wise 18 gauge 35 millimeter brad nails and uh, in case you're not sure how they come, they come like this look get lots and lots and lots and these particular brads they've got a little bit of a uh, an end on them so they look like a T so to speak and I've uh, got quite a few in that box look there we are there are 5,000 in there and these are galvanized as well so they're going to be really good for using outside they're not going to rust 5,000 that's going to last me a while but um, I've made a hole in the box already that's for sure I'll put a link to these in the description box. Now to test out this brad nailer, I've got some 18mm MDF, I've got a piece of softwood that's about 20mm thick, and I've just managed to find, not a big bit, but a piece of oak. So this is probably one of the hardest woods, and uh, if it goes through this, <laughs> you're winning. Right then, I've got my safety specs on, let's do this. Right, so let's start with this MDF and I'll just support that there and there and let's throw a few brads in here, see how it goes. Now I haven't adjusted the setting on here yet, this depth setting, so uh, let's just see how it copes with this. Alright, so that setting is quite good because you can see here that those brads, we've got one, two, three, have gone just under the surface. They are literally within a millimetre below the surface, which is uh, pretty good to be honest. But if you were going to be filling those, if you're doing a, work, a bit of a, a job with this MDF and painting it, you might want to go a little bit deeper, just so you've got a bit more there to fill. But other than that, that is lovely. And they are so strong. The great thing about using brads are they are well strong. They've just come through here. As you can see, uh, they are 35s and we've got 18. We've probably got about 12 here. So yeah, that looks like it's probably come through about 4 or 5 millimetres. But look at that. That is fantastic. I have to get the old pry bar on the hat to get that off. Right, well, let's keep that bit of MDF there and we'll just use this bit of softwood. Now if it's gone through the MDF, come on, through this softwood, look at that, easy peasy. It just does it so nicely. Look at that, we got three in the end there. Perfect. And again, that's pretty tough. Right, last but not least, let's do this piece of hardwood. So we'll just put that here. So really, going through the hardwood, if it goes through the hardwood, it's going to go through the MDF. So it's uh, got two pretty tough surfaces to get through here. 
So uh, let's give it a go. Oh, look at that. There we are. One, two, three. Check that out. Even in this really hard oak, they have gone down to the same depth. So that is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, like, I can wiggle it, but if I was to put one in there as well, that's not going anywhere. That is solid, man. Now what you do want to do when you're using a brad nailer is not to apply a lot of pressure. You don't need to push down like this. I've got a DeWalt manual stapler and to get, give it a little bit of pressure, you put your hand on here and it's all mechanical and um, to you know, ensure the staples go in. But with this, look, I will just hold it really lightly. I'll just push it down with one thumb and a pull of the trigger, look, look at that. Let's do the same with the oak then, look. On there, all I'm doing is just pushing down really with my thumb. And you can tell there's a difference. It is just slightly, slightly above the oak there. You can see my nail just catches it because I had no pressure on there whatsoever. If I put pressure on there, just a little bit, it goes right in. There we go. And that's all using this very capable Hyundai air compressor. It is super silent and you know I've only done a few brads. It hasn't had to kick back in again yet. It hasn't had to fill up with any more air. But this is an 8 litre tank. It's absolutely perfect for what I need. And being super silent, being in the workshop, it's uh, you wouldn't know. You just wouldn't know it's on. I'll leave a link for that in the description box. Well that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will leave a link for this particular Brad Naylor in the description box below and if you've got any questions or comments you know what to do, stick those in the box below and I will do my best to get back to you. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you found this video interesting and let other people know that it was helpful. That would be absolutely amazing and uh, I really do appreciate that. So there it is guys, there's your Makita 18 gauge 15mm Brad Naylor. Fantastic, I'm out of here and I'll see you on the next video.